Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, uh, we got money in the Golden Gaff. And in this episode, we're going to be growing in exponential growth. Well, who wouldn't want a bit of exponential growth? I know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, let's get right to it. Xenolog. Exponential growth. Hmm? Where are we? <laughs> ah, bonjour. You are in the Out Realms, a place where all your fantasies come true. We have more exotic adventures here than you can shake the stick at. Do not worry, I will not tell the wives. Huh? Uh, Anna, are you feeling all right? You seem different. Hmm. Nonsense, do not confuse me with some real life acquaintance. I am Trey different. May, maybe how you say alternate of one of one you know? <laughs> oh, I see, I think. <laughs> However, I am in need of the help. Could you destroy the entombs that are pouring into out of these ruins? They have been raiding our village, uh, village and stealing all the crops from the fields. What? That's terrible. Wait, there's a village inside the ruins? How is that even possible? And wait, what kind of a monster zombie thing eats vegetables? <sighs> they are alternate too, Sherry. It is the alternate world. Hmm. Right, well, um, look, we have urgent matters to attend to in our own world. If we let you some weapons, I'm sure you could take care of a few corpses. Mm -hmm. Moi, I am just a poor defenseless woman pretending to ha have the ridiculous accent. I cannot actually do the fighting. <sighs> a pity. If you cannot help, I will ha just have to wait for the next passerby. Meanwhile, the villagers will starve. I can picture them lam the lamentations of the women and the children even now. Oh gods, you're starting to sound like Hubba. <sighs> That's Pumpkin, he was like the son to me. And now he has been eaten. Mama, the children in the other villages have potatoes, but not me. Mon amour, I warned you not to dress like the tomato. Show me those bite marks. <sighs> what? Why would anyone? That doesn't even make sense. Fine, fine, we'll kill all the damn creatures for you, all right? Thanks. Whoa there, buddy, take it easy. I just work here. Besides, it ain't all charity. You'll gain plenty in the bargain, too. Taking out all them entombed will earn you a lot more of you know what. Hmm? No, I'm afraid I don't know what. <sighs> ah, well, you'll figure it out. You'd better hurry, though. Those entombed, uh, sure, are sure to be dashing for the exits. Too sweet. Ahem, <clears throat> that is to say, too de sweet. Bon chance. <laughs> Lesai. So Krom is not impressed with An uh, Anna's uh, uh, musings, as it were. All right, let's take Krama, Tharja. Let's take all of them out. We want Donald. We want. Uh, let's get Priam, Tiki. Who else? Who else? Stall and. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? What about Batman? Where's Batman? Jerome, Jerome, Jerome. There he is. Alrighty. Optimize. View map. Let's get Jerome down here. Let's get Stall over here. And I think we are good. Let the fighting commence. Victory. Route the enemy. Yeah, it's playing the good song. At least the one I like, anyway. All right, so each of the Atum have different levels, ranging... Uh, they'll either be level 1, level 10, level 30, or level... If I could find any of them, level 20. Uh, each of them have their own different abilities. Some of them have uh, breaker... Uh, what is it? Breaker weapons. Or breaker skills, so you can't attack them as easily. Well, let's see, what other skills do they have? Underdog. If they're fighting somebody who's higher level, they get uh, a bonus to their avoid or their hit skill. And they also have the uh, odd rhythm and ev even rhythm skills. The level 30 ones, however, also have counter, me meaning that um, if they take damage from an adjacent foe, they deal that damage back to them. So that you gotta keep that in mind. Probably wanna take them out at a range. So let's get right to it. There's also shinies here. This is pretty much what I use to train off screen a lot, so I know a lot about this one. And then again, I did say that about the uh, the other thing that I was that I did. What was it? I said that also about, what was it? What did I say that about? Oh, that's gonna kill me now. I did say that about, uh... Oh, Golden Gaff, right. Let's see their range, because I don't want to push too far into them. I do want to prevent some of them from moving, though. Let's do that, and the enemy phase. Basically, they won't uh, directly attack you. They'll just run straight for the exits. Alright. 
Good, we got some runners here. Ripped up like a deuce, another runner in the night. All right, let's wait and let's get the item. What is this? Got Erica's blade. Too bet you can't use it. All right, now, currently Grandmaster level two, so probably good if I start attacking some of these from a distance, eh? Let's use the Levin sword on this one from far away. Whoa. Fighting vegetarian zombies that'll make for, for an interesting experience. Experience. Wait, could that be the bonus reward she was talking about? So I get two hits on him for uh, 54 damage apiece. And they give a lot of experience points. Like, I'm a pretty high level. My skills are all really, or yeah, my skills are all really high. So like, it's really hard for me to gain experience against these. But all oh, right, I get that uh, other ability too. Neat. Um. All right, in the meantime, let's get Priam up here. And have him wait. I dispatched a few minor enemies just now. Nothing worth mentioning. 17 experience. Alright, let's get uh, Stall, our paladin here. Let's have him up against this gentleman right here. Let's have him use the Iron Lance. Uh, why do you keep staring at me and drooling? Oh god, it's my hair, isn't it? It reminds you of a vegetable! Well, I'm not a vegetable, so so ah, stop stop licking your lips. Hit him with a spear, stall. Such a slow attack. At any rate, stall's got some chops. So yeah, that gave him quite a bit of experience as well. I think I'll actually move. Let's see. Let's get Donald up here. Let's have him use his bronze bow on this gentleman right here. Or he can use the Volant Dax, but I think he needs to upgrade his bow skill more, because he he's still using just the bronze bow. Now let's do it, Donald. You don't pick the wrong day to mess with farmers. Our crops are like our babies. We haven't given them names. You hear that? Vegetables have souls, you darn baby killers! Uh, charge! You can do it. Yeehaw! Says Donald. Yeah. Woo! Give it to him. All righty then. Let's get Batman up over here. We'll take this gentleman out right here. Ho ho ho! Using his tomahawk. I imagine Minerva would find you to be a most excellent playmate. Alas, this is not playtime. I must cut you down where you stand. And boop! In the face of the Nax. Cause I'm Batman. Alright, let's get... Hmm, he's got a ranged weapon, right? Yeah, he's got Ragnall. Let's move you over here to help uh, with... Oh, here they come! Alrighty. Down they come! Alrighty, so let's go... I can't move that way? Take your help! All right, let's go ahead and have Tiki attack this one here. I suppose you like vegetables because they're healthy. You want to live longer, yes? I know, there's just one catch. You already died ages ago. All right, Tiki, breathe that magic fire on them. Oh, sleep well. I enjoy Tiki quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead and stop you there from moving. Hooray, I get a dragon friend! Ignis! Boom! My physical strength, half my physical strength is added to my magic damage. Thank you very much. Brum, ba -da -ba -bum. I can tell I've gotten even stronger. Or just stronger in general. Um, hmm. Let's go over here and attack this one. With a chance to crit! Ching! Got the Ignis off, even though it's not really gonna help. Ooh, Ignis and a crit. I can do over 200 damage then. That'd be incredible. All right, let's have you come over here and attack. Actually, I think it'd probably be better if you went down as far as you could possibly go and attack that one with a bow. 
Soul, baby! There we go, got some healing back. It's over. It's over. He doesn't get a lot of experience, because he is very powerful. Donald's probably one of my strongest units. And people argue that he's not that powerful in general, but like, he's really one of the strongest units in the game because of that ability he has where he gains abilities fast. Like, he can master those melee classes really easily, or like those physical attack classes. The only problem I see with him is the fact that when he get when uh, he goes from a villager to pretty much any other class, he loses the ability to use um, eleven sword to kill it. Okay, he like none of his other classes use uh, uh, lances except for maybe the dread knight, but we'll get into that later on. I just realized Saul and uh, Donald have the same voice actor too, and I have them both in here. I realized that I had them both in here at the same time, not that they have, that they have the same voice actor. Alright, and the only one left to go through here is our good friend, Priam. Use Ragnall! I can tell you're s- I can already t uh, I can tell already you'll make me- you'll make me stronger. Good. I'm more than happy to make your life- uh, to take your life to better mine. I seem to not be able to read that very well. However, I got loot on my side. Unsurprising. I'm surprising. Or unsurprising, I should say. Not that I'm surprising. I surprise myself sometimes, but not as much as you think. Alright, let's get push these gentlemen down this way. Let's get Donald on board with uh, Stahl. And let's separate him out this way. Let's get Priam down here to take out this other gentleman. With Ragnall. I'm pretty sure this is the most enemies I've taken out in one go, but that's probably because I've got a lot of, uh... He just- oh my god! So he basically just did Nather. He did- he had Soul on one hit and Luna on another. That's amazing. Alright, um... Uh, bum 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 bum. Let's keep using that Levin, so I use- attack the wrong enemy. Ignis! Time to tip the scales! <laughs> there was that 200 damage I was talking about earlier. Good lord. That surprised me. Oh, right, and I get an another move. Alright, well, I can upgrade that Levin Sword a bit more then. Because Tiki's not going to be using weapons anytime soon. Ignis! Hello, Ignis. How are you today? Gotcha! And now you're dead, and I level up. I can tell I've gotten stronger. I don't know why I give her like a like a voice. Like she really shouldn't have like a any sort of voice ish property to her. Anyway, let's wait, and I think the other ones are going to escape. Nope, all but one. All righty, let's get let's give Donald the honors of the last one. With his mighty bow. Oop. Yeah, he did it! And he leveled up! This little pig has learned some new tricks! And that's all she wrote. Stage complete! It's mm -hmm. voila! The entombed are no more! No. Indeed, and we're all stronger for the experience. It was actually. <laughs> oh, that's nice, but the entombed spring up like weeds, we! So come back anytime you're looking for the challenge! No doubt the villagers will weep tears of joy to see you again. Really? Right, We because we can save their precious vegetables. Vegetables, they somehow grow amidst stony ruins. Vegetables threatened by vegetarian monsters. Mm -hmm. Exactement. See you again soon, monsieur. Well, that was interesting. And I'm thinking next time we play another one of these Outlands maps, we go for the Infinite Regalia. See you all then!